everybody we are in the beautiful spain this is actually where my family's from my family's from sevilla so i've been here a bunch and i just love spain it's so near and dear to my heart so today we're in madrid and we're just gonna be taking you around showing you some of the local foods sites everything like that and then i'll go over my thoughts and everything at the end so let's get out there so we're in plaza mayor right now which is like one of the biggest plazas in madrid there are a ton of people out it's really cute because there's a bunch of restaurants on all the sides and i don't know it's just really beautiful here and the lead up to it is a bunch of streets with stores and just food and ice cream and everything like that it's a really cool part of madrid i definitely recommend you come here if you are visiting this is just us walking around the plaza i definitely recommend it if you're going to get some food or just walk around take some photos maybe look at some entertainers and leading up to it there were these beautiful streets with a bunch of stores so if you want to do any shopping for anything at all clothes or anything like that you can always go to this street for that we're now on our way to santiago bernabal so the stadium famous soccer stadium if you're gonna be in madrid and you like soccer you should definitely go see it we're walking there right now i think to go inside it's like 22 dollars uh, but we'll see i'll let you guys know whenever we get there so because we are so unprepared i guess uh we didn't realize that you needed to buy tickets in advance to go uh to see the stadium and so they turned us away but we're gonna go tomorrow we got tickets so tomorrow that is on the plans it's one of those things that when you're backpacking uh, you don't really realize that you need to plan ahead for things because you're being so spontaneous that you're just doing everything last minute. But check in advance for big things like the stadiums. Here we are just entering the stadium and looking at everything. It was so beautiful. Honestly, I cannot believe that we went there. We have made it to the stadium. Like you can see, you probably can't see me that way, but it is just as beautiful as you would think. Look at this. He is loving this. <laughs> I just had to. It's beautiful. They also had this really cool projection that you can see right now what the future stadium is going to look like because they are actually redoing the outside. It was like a 10 minute presentation. It showed all about it. It was actually quite a cool animation that they had. I didn't expect them to have something like that. Very futuristic. And then we just walked around. They have a room where all the trophies and gear and all the old shoes and jerseys of all the famous soccer players. Of course, all the cups and everything that they've won. It's all in one room with a bunch of screens and everything showing the players and their stats and everything really worth seeing we are going out to capital which is one of the biggest clubs in madrid something that you have to go to this is the fit right now and let's go <laughs> Today we are going to Portugal tonight. We actually have an overnight 14 hour bus. Yes, you heard that right. And no, it's on the URL because you're alive and I will tell you about that in my next URL video. But we're gonna go get some food, some breakfast, and then we're gonna go look at the park and I think the Royal Palace. So I'll take you for that. This park that we went to is one of the most famous attractions to see in Madrid. They have this cute little lake with a bunch of boats that you get to rent, and we're actually rent some in the later of this video. But it was really beautiful, an amazing day. I think it was like 80 degrees, which was such a nice change for us being in the cold weather. But they're famous because they have this one statue, which you can see right now, that is just incredible i don't know how else to explain it and it's surrounded by lovely trees and flowers and all the greenery that you would like to see and it's actually quite big we walked around for quite a while they have some coffee shop areas and everything like that and here is the monument that i was talking about just a second ago it is ginormous and people are set up taking photos absolutely everywhere we are on the little boats on the lake here everyone's got their own little boat they're like a uh, double paddle so they're kind of hard to row like you don't know really which direction but it's a beautiful day outside and there was only six euros for these boats this is so fun 
This is my attempt at trying to row our boat. I actually did pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I got us to where we wanted to go and I didn't crash into anybody, so that's always a plus. Uh, we did paddle around the entire boat and some lady was feeding some fish, so that's this random clip that I have in here. It was actually quite a fun experience and for only six euros, I definitely recommend it. I do recommend that you guys get a reservation if you want to not wait in line because they're this quite food part of things, my favorites. I have so many recommendations. I'm gonna put on screen the name of these things that I'm showing and then on top of that, I'll put a list of things you have to try if you're eating in Spain. Their food is unreal out of this world. Probably the best food in the world in my humble opinion. <laughs> Last but not least, we visited the Royal Palace and I don't know where the rest of my clips went, but unreal place, you have to go there if you're visiting madrid definitely worth seeing it's not one of those things where you're like ugh, not worth it welcome to the end of the vlog so i just wanted to share some of my thoughts or opinions or some stuff about the food and the travel amenities and everything like that just all of my thoughts here after the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed that style of vlog it's kind of different for me to do a voice over like that so if you enjoyed that let me know down below. I tried really, really hard with this vlog because I am so proud of my country. I wanted it to live up to it. Okay, so as far as food, I did show some of the clips of the food that I got, but I just wanted to go over some food that you guys have to try if you are going to Spain. Like I did say, I've been going to Spain my whole life because my grandma, my aunts, uncles, mom, everyone is from Spain. So I grew up going there a lot, so I have some experience. So I'm just gonna start naming some of the things here. So you should try patatas bravas. It's a potato dish with some sauce. It's really good. Tortilla de patata. It's like a potato and egg, like, pancake almost. It's really, really good. Boquerones, which is like a small little fish that is super popular and it is amazing. Swordfish there, I'm obsessed with also. Gazpacho, it's a soup, a cold soup. You have to try it. It's a classic Spanish dish. Of course, seafood paella. Enough said about that. You should know about that if you've heard anything about anything. I personally don't like like clams and shrimp and stuff like that, but gamas al ajillo is super famous and people that do like shrimp are obsessed with it. Coquinas is another seafood dish that's really good. It's like little clams. You can actually catch them on the beach. It's actually kind of cool. We grew up doing that. Of course, the classic, and there were so many clips of this, but jamón serrano is just jamón ibérico, same kind of thing. It is so, so... It's the one thing I wish more than anything we had in the United States is jamón serrano. It is so good and some people don't really like it. It's weird. I've either met people that are 100% obsessed with it or people that don't like it at all and it's definitely very different. Um, it's funny because you go into the restaurants and they have the entire pig like just like hanging up and they're just slicing it off there. But trust me, if you're a picky eater based on your looks, just give it a try. It is amazing. You will love it. And basically just any food in Spain that is seafood or anything like clams, mussels, oysters, anything like that, they are really, really, really good at seafood. Now as far as travel, I did want to mention since I am using the URL, when we were in Madrid, we didn't take a single train at all. So what we did is just walked absolutely everywhere or took a bus and the way that the buses work is you just get on the bus, you don't actually need a bus ticket. And when you're walking up, you know where people swipe their card generally if they have a bus pass, you just put your credit card on there and I think it was $1.50 for uh, any distance on the bus. So you just swipe your card and sit down, which I think makes it super easy because in a lot of countries, you actually need to find a bus station to buy a bus ticket to buy to the route that you're going and then get on the bus and it could just be a whole mess but it makes it so easy if you could just get on the bus and swipe your card and we use google maps to figure out how to go places so if you just look up like from where you are to the stadium for example and type in walking and then buses it'll give you the bus routes exactly where to go to catch those buses or complete walking directions so super simple but i can't really talk about the url in madrid because i did not use it not even once i did a lot a lot of walking i think my average Average steps per day are like 20,000 and I'm not kidding about that so prepare to walk as far as like things to do I did want to say the reason I love Madrid so much is because there is so many things to do as you can see in the video I did a lot and that was only two days worth of stuff because we wanted to go to Portugal where I currently am now because I've been to Spain quite a bit like I said but Madrid is a city with lots to do lots of places to see activities to do just food to eat it's a plentiful city and of course because it is one of the biggest cities in Europe you're not gonna run out of things to do trust me you're going to enjoy it I'm so proud of my country 
Also, I was thinking about, because I'm going to Sevilla next, which is where my family's from, I was thinking about doing an entire vlog in Spanish, maybe for some of my Spanish viewers, and I can put subtitles in English for those of you who don't speak Spanish. I think that would be a really interesting idea. Let me know if you like that idea or if you hate that idea, and I'll kind of go based off what the comments say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I tried really, really hard on it. So let me know in the comments if you liked it, hated it, eh, you know. So I will see you guys on my next video. Subscribe if you enjoyed and goodbye.